Okay, so now we've got the uh, the rotor out, we just put the stator aside for now and uh, get the rotor back in the vise. First thing to take off the slinger. These are a precautionary measure to uh, stop water from travelling up the shaft to the bearing. This screw here, this is uh, the next thing to loosen. This is the uh, the fixed end of the motor and it has a, a little retainer behind this bearing. So you don't have to screw it all the way out, um, but you'll you'll see behind that it's uh, preventing any movement in the uh, the drive end housing. This is the bit where we get our soft hammer again and uh, you just simply have to take your time and just tap off the, uh, the end of housing. These types of stay right pumps um, actually have a, another slinger as you'll see. Sometimes they, they do pop out, they're just a, a tolerance fit and uh, it's just a matter of uh, pressing them back in again. Next thing to do on the list would be uh, taking off the circlip from the uh, the drive end bearing. These can be a little bit tricky because once again with most pumps things corrode but uh, this one wasn't too bad. So next thing we'll be doing is uh, taking off the drive end and non-drive end bearings. These are uh, 6203 2RSC3s. Um, these bearing pullers I have here, they're actually made out of three different bearing pullers to get just the right shape. These pumps, the distance between the, the fan, the internal fan there, and the uh, the back of the bearing is very small. So just make sure that you get pullers or use pullers that have thin feet on them, otherwise you'll, you'll risk damaging the actual fan itself. Now there are a lot of pumps out there which actually come out brand new with steel shield bearings. This is something that is a huge no-no, uh, in my opinion anyway. They, they'll sit over winter and uh, they'll just seize when you go to turn the pump back on again. Now Im important to, to mention that there is a very fine thread uh, in the shaft on this non-drive end and if you're using pullers with a very sharp point just don't damage the thread as the uh, the, the centrifugal switch it, it won't go on again and, and you'll have to re-tap it. So that's the end of this section of the video that's removing the bearings next we'll be putting new bearings back on again.